how we trim here. So I just finished running the stitch on the fabric and I have to close one side of the fabric to enable me to turn, turn it. You get a stick of broom or a metallic object that looks like this for the turning of the bed shoulder. I have to cut it so that it will be easy for me to turn. I've been able to turn this too so the same way you see me turning this is the same way I will turn this so we move to the table for the ironing so I will go I will iron the belt holder first before coming the waist band and this is the waistband the fabric which I have called for the waistband and uh, I will measure the whole of the the length of the waist for the this thing fabric the whole length of it this is we have 42 in for three inches here so why the the waist of the trouser is 42 inches so that, pardon me 32 inches so we have a difference of 11 inches which is in addition to the waist band so with that we can sew the overlap and also the allowances that will be on the flap so the, the, the first thing I will iron the belt holder some people will decide that they will open press the belt holder before turning it but I don't open press the joining I push it one side to iron and if I iron by with the joining by the side it will be more neater to me i don't know for other but this is the way i prepare i do prepare my my bed holder and i think this is the more easiest the, the easiest and the best way to prepare it what i mean is that the joining i will push it by the side of it by the side not at the center if you try to make the joining to be at the center the belt holder will not be stretched just as what you are seeing right now it, it will look as if it is being twisted but if you push the joining by the side you see the belt holder will be stretched so i will also iron this I will iron each and every one of the bed holder. You iron and you apply your stretcher or your smoother to smoothen it. 
if you did not apply this smoother it will not be smooth it will not be straight so the smoother has its own work to do oh i will also iron this area So I will start now by cutting, you know, by gumming the waistband, and this is the waistband. What I have cut out, you can use your fuse or you use a, a cloth gum for it. This is cloth gum, and this is 1.5 inches, the width of it, 1.5 inches. So I will start right now to apply the gum on the fabric for our for our waistband before you move you make sure that the area you have ironed is firmly hold it has firmly held on the fabric before you will now move to another point. So I'm done with this. The next thing I will do is to fold this place. I will fold here. Yeah. I fold and I apply my stretcher or my smoother for it to relax. I continue with the folding. I also apply this So we are done with the first step. So the second step is to attach the bed holder to the body of the trouser. And I will not like you to miss any of this tip. In fact, the last tip is the most important tip. So I won't like you to miss it. Watch through the end. We will now move inside to continue with the sewing. So I will start by fixing the or uh, sewing the waistband to the body of the trouser and if you have been following the class you will know that uh, in our previous class i have give a lecture on how to fix the bed holder point which i marked it in our previous class and i do say that you will divide the waist of the trouser by two which will give us half of this which is at this point you take 1.5 inches in, inside and also you divide this first part of the trouser by two you get the middle which is the second place for the bed holder then you divide this by two which will give us 
the center of the of the third place for the bit holder so and this is the same way we did this and i'm going to start attaching the bit holder to uh, attaching the west together with the bit holder this is the second tips attaching the bit holder to uh, the bit holder to the body of the trouser uh, sorry, attaching the westband, pardon me, attaching the westband together with the belt holder to the body of the trouser. So I uh, will start now. Now, the space here is the sewing allowance, and you don't sew, you don't sew on top of the, the your fuse or on top of your gun, uh, cloth gun. You sew by the side of the cloth gun. And as I'm sewing, I'll be attaching the belt holder. This is the first point I will attach my belt holder. This is the second point, and this is the, the last point for the belt holder. I will also continue on the other side or the opposite side of the trouser. So I will now commence with the stitching or the sewing. This is a bit holder. The joining, the place with the joining will be facing upward so that it, when you turn it, it will be closed. It will not be showing on the bit holder. The joining is supposed not to show. So therefore, when you want to fix it, you place it this way, you place it on the place why the joining, where you join will be facing upward. This is the way I attach the bit holder. I pick it and I put it in between the waistband and the the body of the trouser When you get to the joining between the back and the front, you have to make it to be wide open so that during the open pressing, it will not be an issue. What I mean is, let me use this to illustrate. As, we, as I'm showing right now, when it comes to the place where there is joining, I will have to open press it this way. I have to use my hand to expand it. I expand it just as you're seeing before running the westbound across so that is what i have done here remember i said that the bed holder the joint knot for the bed holder need to be facing upward So the, the zip, you cut off the excess zipper, which you have seen what I did there. You now cut this off. So the next thing I will do, I will continue with the sewing of the opposite side. And then I would like you to watch on this part of it, the part of it, that is the part that is very very important sewing your overlap your trouser overlap is together with this in this section the overlap you will run stitch to let me show you as i'm running stitch now i will stop at this point 
where I folded with my iron at this edge. I will stop here. Then I will now show you how to fix the overlap of our trouser on the zipper area. You see? I just stop there. The next thing I have to do, I push the waistband frontward, just this way. It's supposed to, I, I'm supposed to run to continue with the sewing, but to fix that overlap, I have to take the 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 bed for the waistband upward with a space of about one and a half inches. One and a half inches space is enough. For the overlap this is one and a half inches is enough for the overlap and I continue with the stitch I still expand the joining over here. I trim off the zip and uh, I now run stitch on the overlap. And this point, I uh, will form something I uh, will use in locking our zip. Instead of putting our trouser hook, this point we have trouser button we will use button for this area so how do we prepare it you get your bed holder you fold it into two this way you fold it this way and you now fold this point creating or giving you an arrow mount you can see it or let me repeat it for you to see again i fold this in this way and i also turn this giving us an arrow mount and arrow head so I will now run stitch at this point you can see how it is so I will take it and I will place it at this point This eye is going to be on the trouser. This is for our button. It will be holding the button. Instead of my uh, putting trouser hook, we make use of button and, at that point. So this is our bottle lock, our bottle, bottle, uh, bottle holder. So the next thing I will do is to fix my landing to cover the fly zipper and also use my bias on this area. But before I do that, I will I will stitch run stitch on the bed holder on this area about half inch downward. 
half inch downward you can I can measure it before running on each side half inch downward you run a stitch to hold that place the reason is that if even if the person have a bigger belt it will enter the belt So I'm done with this. The next thing I will do is to fix the 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 landing for the fly zipper. So this is the place where we fix our landing, and this is the landing we are going to use. How do you get the landing? This is the hole of the landing. Let me measure it for you to see and know the measurement you will use for it. The width is 6 inches. This is the width. And the length is... You make it about 16 inches. The length should be 16 inches. And when you get the width 16, 6 inches, you fold it into two. Make sure they are equal. Then you iron. And it will be just this way and this edge this edge will be inside this is the way you are going to place it this is the way you're going to place it on the fly zipper area you place it this way with the opening this side opening on this area You can see the back and see how the back is. I just run it straight. So the next thing I'm going to do is I will hold it this way and also run it straight along this point where I fold with my iron or we are the 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 plot gun end. This is the area we run to hold the landing. So you can see it then i will also attach landing on this side we need to put our landing on this area You cut out the remaining fabric. So this is the way I run stitch on it, following the curve, and I will turn it and also run stitch by the side of the landing, also following the curve. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now it is time to close our overlap. Here's the, our overlap. I will now close it. You chop off this area and also here. Don't make it to enter inside too much. So the next tip is to fix our our waistband facing. Just as we said, we're going to be using a foreign waistband facing, and this is the facing I will be using for this. And this facing, this waistband facing, is one yard, and. Uh, in determining the yard you are going to buy depending on the west of your client this west is 32 inches and one yard is 36 inches so difference of four i think that will be enough for what i want to make use of it for for this trouser the one yard will be enough so i will start running the the, the stitch on the on the westbound facing that's next tip to run the stitch you place it this way this is where i placed it uh, the space should be about one yard one one inches one inch inside and you continue with your stitch as you are running the stitch you are fixing or putting your belt holder these are my belt holder and while putting it make sure that you align it to be straight it has to be straight while putting it. And please, there is something I want you to note. I think this thing is not showing. My done thread has finished. I have to fix my done thread to continue with the stitch. So there is something I was saying. I say that there are some sewing machine when you are running stage it will be having gathering to be gathering the the fabric at the bottom or you are running your your westband facing it will be gathering the fabric the main fabric the westband at the bottom and that we cause the face or the the look of your waistband to be very rough to avoid that what you have to do is to as you are stitching you are applying pressure on this as if you are drawing it you are pulling it you are pulling it as you are stitching you will be pulling it small small so that to avoid the gathering on the under the the the, tra the westbound facing so that is just the way to avoid your your westbound not be rough after sewing I'm done with this so I will also run stitch on the other side I'm attaching the westbound facing for this side
even this one here this is modern SS so I have to turn turn the landing you can see the surface and also turn this this is the overlap you make sure that the pointed mount the area this area are uh, wear out so you can see it these are overlap and uh, this is it so the the next step is to join which is the fourth step to join the back of the trouser and also to close the waistband so these are the step we are taking all the tips the fourth tip is to join the back of the trouser and also to close the waistband so i want you to watch carefully this is very important and this is where some people messed up in joining the west of the trouser remember we have already marked out the west we said between here between this point and here is 16 inches and we push at 1.5 inches from this point to here which should be at this point this is the point here this is the point where it should be 1.5 inches and here the same thing between here to here should also be 1.5 inches let me confirm with my tape you can see it is 1.5 inches and the, here is also 1.5 inches so i will join the two points now why joining this place this point the back of the truss that's why i said some people do mess up while joining it you have to make sure that this line and this line are equal so how do i do it i bring my the 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 two west band join it together make sure they are in alignment they are straight i'm holding it i hold it this way and then i put it So I will start running the stitch. At this point, you make sure that you open it to be wide open, the two joining it has to you have to spread it and also to spread this place to enable the open pressing while open pressing it so you will run double stitch here running double stitch following the same stitch the first stitch to make sure that the thing is straight stop from where I, I, I begin so this is it you can see the joining they are in alignment they are straight you can see it you can see how straight it is so the last thing I will do is to close it but before I close it I have to fold this band into two like this send this inside and send this one also inside run stitch on top of it to hold both of them 
Then I will start to close my west band. This is the final stage. So you went, once you get to the get close to the fly zip pipe, you turn it this way. And follow it straight to the end of the fly zip pipe. I see the inside how it is. So I will now close my fly zipper sheet. And the space should be about 1.5 inches. If running it will be an issue, what you have to do, you place your rule here, mark 1.5, 1.5, draw it to get a straight line, and you give a curve here. Follow the mark straight and you will sew it the fly zipper sheet closing it showing it and uh, let me zip it this is how it is and uh, the next thing is that I will now close this side join both of them together Can see it. And now run stitch and not here also. So this is all about the sewing of our English trouser. And uh, then in our next class we consider the finishing, the ironing, the fixing of the button 
and the hemming. That is what will be concerning in our next class. Thank you very much for watching. See you in our next class and God bless you. Class, we are on the finishing part of the trouser and what we are going to be doing today is uh, ironing. The button have already been fixed. So uh, we are going to show video on how to give an accurate or an adequate ironing to iron the trouser. So what this is the inside, the first thing you do, you turn it inside out just as I have done. So and uh, you will now first open press on the two sides. You work with water and I'm not making use of a steam iron so I will be applying water on it and I have my uh, stretcher or smoother and this is my pressing pillow that I'm going to be making use of for it. So I will now start with the open pressing. First of all, I will apply water. We apply water on this. You iron and uh, you apply your stretcher. And as you're ironing, uh, you will be stretching it with your hand this way so that the uh, the open pressing will look good while open pressing it. Please make sure you make use of your smoother or stretcher. If you don't have your smooth or stretcher, try to get one. It has its own work in fashion designing world. So it will make your work to be very smooth after working. So I'm done with this. I will turn the trouser. I still apply water. Now you will put your pressing pillow right inside of this so as to enable you to iron on this area. So we are done with this. I will get the second leg. So I will turn this side to stay open press here.
we put my pressing pillow. I will open press the back. Then I will turn the front to start ironing the front area. But before I start ironing the front area, I need a piece of cloth which I'll be using on top of this fabric so as to prevent it from shining. As a type of material, when you apply iron directly on the surface, it will, it will be shining and which is very wrong so we get a fabric place it on top of it to, to continue our ironing I've been, I've been making use of this fabric to iron so we start the ironing but i want there's something i want you to note uh, before we start ironing to fix our ghetto, you have to, as you place it, you have to align this joining to be together from the beginning to the end. You align the, the joining to be together. This is just the way to achieve an accurate measurement. Align the joining to be together. So I place the clothes on top of it to avoid the shining. So to avoid the shining of the fabric. So that's why I place this one on top. And as you iron, you make use of your stretcher or your smoother to smoothen the area. It will enable it to be stretched. So you can see it. See what we have here. Uh, I will keep on moving forward. The first thing you have to iron is the inside of the trouser, the inside. And thereafter, you now turn to the front and iron. The inside, I mean, is this area leading to the crotch, from the bottom to the crotch area. That's the first place you need to iron first. So I'm done with this, I will turn the front, this is the front, I will also iron the front area. If you apply your water, I'm not making use of steam iron, apply your water to enable all area to stretch.
So I will put my pressing pillow right under to iron this area. And also to iron the west area. So the waste have been adequately ironed. I uh, will also iron the side pockets. We then iron the other side of the leg. Remember, I said that. You have to align the joining to be together. You align them to be together. So before you start ironing to put your ghetto. What I'm noticing is that uh, the fabric, the trouser fabric, uh, is removing color that will stain the fabric we use in the ironing.
So in the coming months, we'll be having series of masterclass. Series of masterclass in the coming month. We'll be having masterclass in Butler Straza. Masterclass in Bethlehem Straza. Masterclass on Bethlehem Straza, pardon. And also masterclass on suit and safari suits. So there are the two or three masterclass we'll be having in the upcoming month. That is the month of July. I uh, will be sending the flyer across after tonight's tutorial. I'll be sending the, mask, the the flyer. So if you actually want to upgrade and want to know more about Traza, you will sign up for the master class. And also if you want to know more about suits and safari suits, you also sign up for the master class. So we are done with this. I will iron the flap. I put my pressing pillow right under, apply my water, and also iron. Also iron the back. So I'm done with the ironing. What I will now do is to fold the length of the trouser. So the length of our trouser, the length of our trouser is 39 inches. That's nine inches. And uh, I'm going to measure out that's nine inches now. So I will take the measurements right now. I will start measuring from this point. From here, I will take it straight. And this is our 39. And mark the 39. I will draw a line on that that's now with my measuring stick. I will turn the other side and also mark that's nine. Also draw a line. So what I will do is to fold here.
I'm going to throw it on the other side. So I'm done with this. So I'm going to apply any gum right on that. But before I achieve that, I have to turn it inside out. I have to turn it inside out and apply the hemming gum. These are hemming gum. So in this area of the hemming gum, there are, if you don't want to use the hemming gum, you can also make use of hemming, your hemming machine. We have hemming machine we use in running stitch. On the, on this area. But I think the best should be that hemming, using of hemming machine. But if you want to learn the secret of applying this gum so that it will not go out, meet me on the master class on how to sew bedless trouser. You will learn is it is is additional bonus. You will learn how to apply the hemming gum and it will remain permanent on the trouser without it going out so if you want to learn that you meet me on the master class on how to sew bedless trouser I'm going to turn it back. I'll iron this area.
oh, this all about our trouser how to measure cut and sew an English trouser thank you very much for watching and see you in our next class which probably may not be on trouser or on our master class thank you very much